Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to the Click. I do hope you're having an amazing day today, because I have an amazing day today. My studio is drowning in about 50 mangoes, and I could not be happier. Oh, yes, indeed. So today we're going to do something absolutely beautiful, something wholesome, something amazing, something slightly chaotic that I think y'all are going to just absolutely adore. We are going to look into chaotic good, oh, which is when good stuff happens, but in a very chaotic way. Enjoy. And if you wanna be chaotic good, remember to cry to click. If you want, you can even do it twice. No, don't do that. I will, <laughs> I will like nullify it. <laughs> I am not looking for a job, but I send out applications periodically just so I can ask about the salary range and tell them it's too low no matter what it is. Doing my part to get the rest of you paid. Woo, you hear that, Mungo? Oh, I'm gonna get paid in mangoes. I had something like this happen at, like, a university reunion I was at a few years ago. And there was this old guy who must have been, like, 80 or 90 years old who said, Well, you know, I graduated back in, like, 1960. And if every single one of you just asked for a higher pay, you would all be winners. Freaking genius, man. My god. He was basically the engineering equivalent of Gandalf. <laughs> What a legend. Cora, as a police officer, what was the most ridiculous reasoning someone gave you as to why they committed a crime? I had a guy I once arrested for burglary. He pulled the burglary. We had him on videotape doing the job. He gave us a signed and written confession, which was also taped right after the burglary. He gave us a signed and written confession, which was also taped right after the burglary. The guy was a repeat offender, so he knew he was going away for many years, but didn't seem to mind at all. He just seemed rather happy about the whole thing. Finally, I had to ask him why he was so happy he'd be going back to prison. He looked at me and said, Well, while I'm in prison, my wife gets to use the public aid card for medical needs. She desperately needs an operation that public aid will pay for if I go back to prison. It will save her life. The man was willing to give up his freedom so his wife could have an operation paid for by public aid funds. Now and then I think about that man and the price he was willing to pay to keep his wife alive. That's true love. It's such a weirdly sweet story, but the fact that this is necessary in the first place... <laughs> How is there a system in the world where this is an option? Oh, we can't afford this life-saving surgery. I know. I'll commit a crime and go to jail. Then we can afford it. It's not even like a Breaking Bad twist. It's just like, yeah, you get this paid if you go to jail. What? All day breakfast. The bacon. Wait, they put googly eyes on everything. Oh my god. Ah, oh, I need to just put more googly eyes on things. Life is better with googly eyes. Three cheers for Daniel Ulfeldt, uh, a Stanford-educated lawyer who is showing up at beaches across America in full Grim Reaper attire to protest that they're opening up prematurely in the middle of a pandemic. That is just gorgeous. <laughs> hey, Timmy, you really want to swim there? Please try it, you little shite. Police have arrested a Minnesota man who checked out his sick wife of a nursing home to throw her a death party. Her final hours included meth, listening to metal, and having sex. Authorities said... <laughs> what a freaking legend. I want to have a death party when it's time to go. That sounds amazing. Instead of just sitting and waiting and being all tragic and mopey about it. What a heckin' way to go. Oh my god. It's like, you know, the whole friend group gets together for something positive, I guess, when it's time for someone to go. This is the way to live your life. Dear God, he used Snapchat's gender switch filter to pose as a 16-year-old girl online and take down a police officer allegedly looking to hook up. He tipped off to PD and the officer was arrested. Our exclusive interview with the man and why he did it. Oh my God, that, mm. Undercover catfish for justice. Hmm. After Minnie Cox, the first black female postmaster, was pressured out of her post in Mississippi, President Theodore Roosevelt continued to pay her salary and punished the town by rerouting the mail 30 miles away <laughs> until they gave her the position back. <laughs> well, if they're gonna be racist, at least make it a hassle. Heck yeah. Most tavern, loneliest man in the world speaking. Is Mr. Handsome there? First initials, I am. I am handsome. Thank you, Bart. I really needed that today. That is so sweet. Can you imagine wholesome prank calling if that was a concept? Instead of this, you know, weird phone calls to get, ah ha ha, prank, bish, gotcha, dumbass. It would be just wholesome stuff like, hi, sir, you smell amazing today. Thank you. Bye. Gorgeous. Oh, why haven't I done this? If I ever make a charity foundation, it's going to be for 
wholesome prank calls. Okay, maybe we'll just be annoying. I don't know. <laughs> A Florida man. Oh my god, it's gonna be golden. Florida man confesses attempting to barbecue child touchers. <laughs> you are bad guy. But this does not mean you are bad guy. <laughs> well, you are what you eat, aren't you? No, stop, stop. I don't want to say wholesome, but it's uh, lit because of the barbecue. Okay, that was a good joke. Thank you, thank you. Uh, can I get a race? Yay! My bike was stolen last week, and yesterday I saw it for sale on Craigslist. So I messaged a seller, I met him at McDonald's, and when I noticed it was 100% my bike, I dumbly asked to take it for a ride. He said, Uh, yeah, just don't ride off. Which is exactly what I did. I stole my bike back. That is just empowerment. Take the law into your own hands. This is basically Batman uh, prologue. <laughs> <laughs> and Princess Diana broke the royal rules for her son William by taking part in the Mother's Day running race at her son's school. She won. Oh my god, that is legendary. Look at that. She is really into it as well. Yeah, you show those other moms who's the queen. Actually, princess. But yas, queen, slay. Taxation is theft. 6929. Nice. 69. This is not a tip. This is a gift and not subject to federal state income tax. That is so sneaky. <laughs> Hi, this is just a really late birthday gift for whenever your birthday is. It's not a tip. Take it and enjoy. I am a long haired native who doesn't steal. So whenever I get followed in a store, I keep the employee on my tail for as long as possible to make it a little easier for people who need to steal to get what they need. Yeah, I saw a really cringy picture about some police department somewhere that was like, this is the biggest bust! And it was like, oh, it's a bunch of pacifiers and like, baby formula, and they had busted someone who had to steal to support their family. It's like, oh my god, it's so cringy, why? Why, focus on the drug bust or something, like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> The city of Gainesville dumped loads of mulch on one of the skate parks in town. Someone posted FREE MULCH on Facebook <laughs> and it was 100% gone by the rest of the day and blown clean with leaf blowers by citizens. Get worked, Gainesville! That's civil disobedience I'm talking about. That is amazing! And I had to Google what mulch is. A mulch is a layer of material applied to the surface of soil. Reasons for applying with mulch would include conservation of soil moisture. And apparently anti skate parks. Take that, government. The more random people you see jogging for no reason, the higher the rent goes up. Uh, I heard a gunshot coming from my neighbor's yard late at night a few weeks after I moved in. I went to check it out. When I approached him, he told me he does it every month or so to keep the property value and taxes at a reasonable level. I'm used to it now. <laughs> Honey, what was that? Ah, that's just a reduction of taxes. Bagla, gently walking me. You live like this? So I heard this story secondhand many, many years ago. But the gist was that a friend of a friend lived in what was generally considered a bad neighborhood because he was a super poor college student and it was what he could afford. He didn't have any furniture. He just slept on a blanket on the floor and had a milk crate for a chair and like an old wire spool as a table. No TV, nothing in the fridge, no microwave. Basically just bare walls and a roof to keep the weather off. So one day he comes home and there's a man in his apartment just standing there with a look of utter amazement and horror on his face. <laughs> and he turns to the guy who's just entered and says, Uh, is this your place? Because I broke in to rob you, but sh shite man, you ain't got nothing. Wait here, I'll be right back. And the burglar left, leaving a puzzled college student alone in his empty apartment. But sure enough, the burglar came back a while later and brought some friends. And they delivered a table, a couple of chairs and a small TV. I think you got a bed too, but that might take a couple of days. So the poor college student made some friends, and he didn't ask where they got the stuff. Um, chaotic good. This is the kind of stuff you do like for as a D&D &D party for the poor peasant down the road after you like raided the evil king's castle. Here you go, little golden chandelier, little medieval television or whatever. Oh my god, where did you get this? <laughs> if we tell you, we would have to stab you. 23 most liked Tumblr post of 2019. Play cancelled after actor breaks character to fight an audience member. <laughs> Me! 
I just looked this up, and it turns out it was about a production of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, a play which famously featured a closeted gay lead character. A member of the audience was catcalling female actresses and shouting homophobic abuse when actor John Lacey, who played the character Big Daddy, paused his performance and called him out. The heckler replied, What are you gonna do about it? To which Lay responded by leaping down in the audience and knocking him to the ground. It's what Tennessee Williams would have wanted. <laughs> Isn't that just gorgeous? My freshman semester of college. I used to buy weed from a kid who would give discounts for shite like signing pro-environmental petitions and going to protests. Johnny, wherever you are, I hope you're doing well. This man did more for the environmental than any politician I've ever seen. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. <laughs> It's amazing! Oh, the drug dealer we all aspire to be. I mean, what? You are beautiful. Pepper spray a cop! Oh, geez. that was. Phew, that took. I like the. I like the enthusiasm at least. A girl's voice in a game chat is more powerful than any U.S. Marine. Fun story, maybe. When I was younger, my brother was super duper into Call of Duty, and he's actually really freaking good at it. So one day he gave me his mic headset and told me to talk while he was playing, and it was wild. The levels of salt that young men produce when under the impression that a little girl is destroying them. And Call of Duty is a beautiful thing. Oh my god. I read a study about Halo that said something along the lines of male players who perform poorly seems to act submissive towards male players who are more who are better than them but they act hostile towards girls that are better than them so so basically if you are a sexist you're also more likely to suck at games <laughs> Isn't that just a beautiful fact of the day? Hashtag Click Academy. You learned something new today. A South LA man gives high fives and donates to the homeless on wild police chase. Florida man. Is it possible to learn this power? Wait, how does he do that? What an absolute legend. So he's actually gaining so much margin on the cops that he has time to slow down and just hand out cash and high fives. That's amazing. Watch Florida man. <laughs> You know it's gonna be good when it when it starts for Florida Man. <laughs> Florida Man steals a car, realize baby is in it, drops baby off safely before making his getaway. He is more responsible than whoever left a baby in the car alone. Oh my god, isn't that just good? It's like thievery with morals. Yar, it's ye pirates code. It's more like guidelines. They think that women YouTubers can't go to heaven because men masturbate -ta -ta over them. This is crazy. Ha! <laughs> Rubbed one out for them. Now no one goes to heaven. <gasps> we can all just be in cuddle in hell together. Oh my god, I have something for this. Uh, check it out in the description now. A VIP ticket to hell available both as a sticker and as a pin. So you can take it with you wherever you go, including hell. Even Mango loves it. No, Mango, stop eating it. Silly bean. Uh, check it out today, you fantastic, unwholesome rascal. More like unholy rascal. <laughs> Wholesome unholy. There, that's a good combo. Kitten breaks his owner's earphone cable and returns with snake as replacement. <laughs> and I ain't much, but it's honest work. Just don't try to put it in your ear, please. The Thank you. My son's teacher has banned me from decorating my son's bananas. <laughs> This is so specific, as they were causing too much of a ruckus in class. And honestly, knowing my art caused a class of six-year-old to riot is probably one of the best compliments I've ever received. I wish I took more photos before the ban. That is beautiful, though. Oh my god. If there's one thing you should be banned about in life, it's definitely this. I was too good at decorating my son's bananas. <laughs> Guy does to bank what banks usually do to other people. He scanned the document, wrote in his own terms and sent it through. The bank approved the contract without reading the fine print. Oh my god. This is so smart because they're not going to assume that anyone does this. The bank said he owned them charges, interest and late payment fees. A court ruled that because of the no fee, no interest stipulation this person had written in, he owed only his unpaid balance. They signed the documents without looking. They said usually their borrowers say in court, we have not read it. <laughs> the shoes on their foot now, eh? That is so beautiful. There is some karma in the universe after all. This reminds me of that story about people sending fake invoices to large corporations and like, in 50% of the time, they just pay it because they don't really check it. Don't do this! Disclaimer! It's it's not legal, but there are stories about it in various newspapers. And it's just fascinating. r slash confession. 
Uh, I have been using Spotify to secretly spy on my friend. Sounds weird. One of my closest friends names her Spotify playlist with specific names. One of her playlists is called Sad Lady Hours. And every time I see her actively listening to it, I shoot her a hopefully inconspicuous text asking what she is up to, that I love her, etc, etc. I hope she never notices the pattern. Ah, purest thing I've ever heard! Sad Lady Hours! <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys know there is a biker gang called Rescue Inc. that breaks up dogfighting rings, confronts animal abusers, confiscates neglected animals, and investigates stolen animals? That is just, look at that! Oh my god, it's so sweet! If I ever have a midlife crisis and I want to buy a motorcycle, this is what I'm gonna end up doing. Just drive around and <laughs> rescue kittens. What is the first thing you would do if you were invisible for a day? I would probably fly to Paris, find a street performing mime, and beat him up. The applause he would get would be astounding. Jesus Christ, what the f <laughs> oh God! I can just imagine, imagine what a mime would be able to do with like a green screen. Is there a way to do that live? Probably not, right? Unless you have just a live stream, but that's not the same thing. Maybe, oh my God, that's such a trick though. Imagine if there's just a big screen on the stage and you actually green screen it out and you have the best mime performance ever. That'd be so cool. I sell weed in jars to avoid plastic bags. When people come to me to re-up, they bring their old jars back. It's a zero-way system and the jar cure makes for a better smoke wholesome dealer. <laughs> It's like with those little cutesy coffee cup mugs you can buy to get like a refill for cheaper. <laughs> My foster mother has sent me to conversion therapy, wanted to visit me today. And since she doesn't know how to work a GPS, she asked me for directions. And now homegirl is on her way to Niagara Falls. <laughs> if she drowns, free tacos to everyone. <laughs> My ex-girlfriend had a few too many shots of tequila in a party and passed out in the couch. When I went to check on her, I noticed she pissed all over the couch. To avoid embarrassments, I filled up a bucket of water and threw it over her to disguise it as a prank. I am that kind of boyfriend. She still has no idea. That is chaotic good. Oh, gee, that is so beautiful. When you actually take the hit as being the douchebag of the evening, but in reality just covered for someone's embarrassing moment. Also kind of that they got that wasted. Um, it, it's kind of yikes, but that is such a good save. When Nestle refused to watch a documentary about exploitation of African children in the coca industry, the documentary's director, Mickey, set up a giant screen next to Nestle's headquarters in Switzerland and played it there. Our religion doesn't believe in hitting children. Protectchildrenproject.com Paid for by the Satanic Temple. I actually made a video on the Satanic Temple. You can find it on the channel, you beautiful bean. It's actually very fascinating. It's, it's kind of a cool organization with very fun memes. I would highly recommend checking out that video. Very good piece of content. It's on the Click channel, obviously. Non-biased opinion. <laughs> I am professionally funny after all. That never gets old. The plan, as far as Reddit is concerned, is to make May the face of Hong Kong protests in order to get Overwatched banned in China, delivering a blow to Blizzard's bottom line and pressuring them to rethink their approach to Bliss Chong case and any that may follow. <laughs> Oh my god, that is kind of badass though. Sura Karuhimbi saved more than 100 people during the Ramadan genocide, using her reputation as a witch to scare killers away. Whenever a militia neared her house where she hidden would-be victims, she would shake her bracelets and threaten to curse them and their families. She would even touch them with a skin-irritating herb. They avoided her house. That is so sneaky. Because after a while, you know, we'd have people try to question, like, oh, obviously this is not real, come on. But then they start itching, and it's like, you can actually feel it. The curse, it's climbing. That is so gorgeous. Oh my god, what a good story. Satan, suicide is never the answer. You gotta outlive your enemies. Uh, this is strangely motivational. Seriously, this has spoke to me in the most intense, odd way. Oh, Satan. He also has a very nice cake. Mm. Is, is Satan's uh, fursona a goat? Discuss in the comments, please. I would love to know. A man who had a few too many alcoholic beverages ordered an Uber for a baby goldfinch that he found struggling on the ground. The baby bird was the sole passenger on the ride to a wildlife rehab. Oh my god, that's so cute. Can you imagine the Uber driver just sitting there? It's just one little baby thing in the back. Just that's the most adorable thing ever. Oh my god, best day of your job ever. Oh, that is so sweet. You see, alcohol isn't always bad, kids. Drink more. <laughs>
Hey, I just imagined little Burb wearing very cute in the back seat squawking. I wonder what was going on in the Uber rider's head. Probably the best passenger they ever had, even though it's a little bit noisy. It's at least not drunk or obnoxious or runs away from bills, right? Hey, mister, would you like to have a puppy? No, but I'll take one. Okay, I'm going to cherish and care for this dog. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> Excellent. Ohio has stopped kicking workers off unemployment after a hacker targeted the entire state website, used by employers to report employees who refused to report for work. The hacker submitted huge volumes of junk data, making it impossible to investigate workers. Oh, shit, oh. This is like the real-life Batmans, you know. These are the vigilantes that go out of their way for justice and against a little man. I am going to inappropriately touch my aunt's husband. All right. My aunt married her husband when her daughter were in their 20s. He has touched him inappropriately since he has known them. And this summer he met my sister at my brother's wedding for the first time. He grabbed her behind. He told him not to. He did it again. My aunt said, Yo, he's a touchy person. This Christmas he was touching my cousin in a way that to me made her uncomfortable. I yelled at him to stop. I was asked to leave, then told I overreacted because that's just how Joe is. So being a rather large man, four or five inches taller than him, my plan is at the next family gathering is to grab him by the peepee, -pee, and when he complains just say, I'm a touchy person, and grab him again. Oh my god, how to establish dominance? If you do this to them, I'll do it to you, but just squeeze a little bit harder. That's beautiful though, oh my god, that's gorgeous. <laughs> I would love to see the look on his face. <laughs> Things my dentist has actually said to me. Well, either the x-rays lie to me or you are spontaneously creating teeth. I'm going with the second one because it's way cooler. When was the last time you flossed? Your gums aren't bleeding, which means I'm either not doing this hard enough or you actually floss your teeth regularly. You don't need to do a Florence treatment. I just want to go check my Facebook for a second. This is the best excuse I can come up with. <laughs> don't worry, your insurance will cover it. Take a whole handful of toothbrushes. I can't order in new ones in less ugly colors until the others are gone. <laughs> Remember not to eat or drink anything for half an hour. Well, actually, you know, forget that. Go eat lemons and drink coffee right now. I make money based on people's bad decisions. You should probably stop brushing your teeth too. I became a dentist because I like making children cry, and they don't let you do that as a regular doctor. Ah, uh, chaotic neutral dentist. <laughs> that last one is beautiful. <laughs> I imagine writing that in your personal letter when you apply for the office. Why would you love to do this? Oh, I just want to make children cry and get paid for it. My annoying landlord. I pay this bish 1,800 every freaking month, and all she does is complain about making too much noise walking around. So I brought a dog whistle and blow it all hours of the day and night, and now I complain how much her dog barks and keeps me up. That is the ultimate petty move, and I applaud you. How to get back at really annoying neighbors. Oh my god, the best, most beautiful thing is you're not even bothering to create more noise yourself or trying to get back at them, you know, how should I put it, the straightforward way. You're actually manipulating it to make them make more noise. This is so satanic. My god. Burglar finds kitty naughties while robbing a house. Calls cops on soccer coach. Well, you see, there is evil. And then there is evil evil. <laughs> 1989. A 15-year-old boy in Indiana who acquired the alias Fry Guy accessed the mainframe of a McDonald's after acquiring the password from a store manager and increased the pay rates of his friends who work there. Oh my god. This is the kind of hacker you see in like retro movies. Or you know, the, the little kid in like the second Terminator movie with his laptop and like, yeah, bro! That's gorgeous. My dad used to live in a really bad area growing up, surrounded by a lot of gangs. And he told me that there was this one kind, openly gay boy that used to tutor all the gang leaders for free. And one day a homophobe insulted him, and five gangs found out and went to go beat him up. <laughs> you're a bad guy, but that doesn't mean you're a bad guy. <laughs> My god! I couldn't find this little girl's parents. I trapped her with dinosaurs. She wouldn't run off when I find them. <laughs> so quirky! <laughs> she will be traumatized, but at least she will be home safe. Ah, beautiful. Can you imagine that, Mungo? I can just put you by the door and you can guard for enemy kids. Isn't that beautiful? Text on bag reads This text has no other purpose than to terrify those who are afraid of the Arabic language. <laughs> 
That is such a troll. I love that. And I bet some Karen on the subway is going to have a complete meltdown about it. This is America. Speak American. Ah. When my friend told me her drug dealer that she was transgender, he immediately started using the correct pronouns for her, and her parents don't, so there is an issue there. Fake doctor arrested in Kenya after performing eight successful surgeries. But... but they were successful though! <laughs> what do you... <laughs> what does it mean? What? <laughs> this is so confusing! My university is greedy, so I decided to post everything I learned about woodworking at an almost 300,000 four-year curriculum. I'm not posting this as self-promotion, but to share the opportunity to learn for everyone. The financial situation of colleges and universities in the USA is ridiculous, and this is my way of getting back at them. I don't charge anything, and I don't ever plan to. I just ask that everyone is civil and follows the rules. There is already three assignments you can start working on, as well as a ton of information and material to look over. Ah, a true r slash chaotic good. I bet there's gonna be a catch though, where it's like, but do you have like the diplomas and stuff though? You need the fancy paper, that's what you really pay for. Hup -de -hup -de -glub -glub. I give my kids 0.5 dollars every time they see an unmasked person and loudly say, Why isn't that person wearing a mask, mom? <laughs> Highly recommend it. That is hilarious! Because they can't like get upset at a kid in a public setting for just calling out their BS. I mean, it's a little bit outdated now, at least here, you know, mask mandates aren't really a thing anymore. But God, when this was posted, that is beautiful. Being nice is so easy. Just do it. <laughs> Please remember that when Doom Guy was ordered to fire on unarmed civilians, he punched his commanding officer, and that's why he was sent to Mars. Be like Doom Guy. That's pretty badass. I want to fight aliens too and listen to like metal rock music all day. Ah, <sighs> what a life. Group of furries beat a person who is assaulting a homeless man and his dog. <laughs> I keep saying, half the DC heroes are just running around in their fursonas beating people up. Like, you have Catwoman, Aquaman is basically a fish sona, you have Batman. It's like every single one is just basically a fursona, just running around beating up people. It's absolutely beautiful. If you think about it that way, the, the universe has a different vibe to it. I worked at McDonald's for two and a half years, and I put 11 nuggets in almost every 10 piece I made. That's how you do it. That's how you fight the big evil corporate. Yes, slowly wear it down from the inside. My my mic arm is so creaky. <laughs> no hope church. God says homosexuality is in. <gasps> Evil God. We call him Sky Daddy for a reason. After all, I'm I'm vibing with this. Ancient evil awakens. <gasps> Morals and ethics have changed so much in the last ten thousand years that the ancient evil is considered pretty moderate by today's standards. I will chop your empires and your kings. I will drain the wealth from your coffers and elevate your serfs and servants until they stand on the same ground as the mightiest of emperors. Women shall freely speak their minds. And Bound by the fetters you have set, and the lines between man and woman shall be hopelessly blurred and shattered into a thousand facets. Your children shall fall into another regardless of sex or class or wealth, and none shall raise a hand or word against them. The age of crowns and boundaries and divide right shall end, and it shall fall to each human to choose there. Wait, what? Wh why are you cheering? <laughs> Woo! Ancient evil! Woo! Oh, that's beautiful. I would love to watch a movie about this when it's some ancient, like, put away evil that awakens after thousands of years. Like, <laughs> but then just turns out to be the good guy and just starts helping people instead, but still has the little inkling that they want to be evil. So they do things they think are evil, but it turns out to be the most, like, Robin Hood y stuff ever. Ah, that would be a good movie. Man, if I get tired of being a YouTuber, I'm becoming a mediocre director. Hell yeah. Most of these hostile design benches to keep homeless people from sleeping in public. They are usually just uh, regular benches with the bar in the middle attached later with a few hex nuts and bolts. God, it's, it's even so lazy. <laughs> It's not welded. In other words, you can get them off with practically any wrench that fits. I have been liberating my parks in my city all day now. It takes maybe a few minutes for each bench. The only problem is finding a place to dispose of the junk bar when you're done without loading trash can past capacity. Anyway, it's easy, very helpful, and it's praxis. <laughs> 
They're so lazy. They want to be so hostile for no reason and they can't even put like the proper effort into it. There was some racist shite here, so I covered it with the pick of a cat. Meow. I am the host of yet another HGTV show about renovating houses for rich people. And when the couple comes to see their new beachfront property, I lead them to the door in blindfolds. And then I have them remove them and open the front door and behind is nothing. The entire house is gone. I tell them I used to body to restore the crucial sand dunes ecosystem that existed there before. Look, I say, there is a native coastal strawberry. The wives ask if this is a joke. The husband starts crying. I tell them both this was in the waiver they signed. They leave. I get ready for my next property. This, this adds into that movie script of the ancient evil. I'm just gonna... Note that down. In 1630s, there was a song only played in the Sistine Chapel. The Vatican kept the composition of the Miser Mel Dios secret for 150 years, until a 14-year-old Mozart listened to it for two times, transcribed it from memory, and produced the first unauthorized copy. This is one of the earliest records of musical piracy. <laughs> you wouldn't download a car, but if you can listen to the car and build it out of memory, then I think you pretty much have deserved to keep the car. I'm just gonna put it out there. Thinking about how in Korean tradition theater, there is a monster called, hmm, Yeonyun, I can't pronounce that, which eats rich people, and if it eats a hundred of them, it gets to go to heaven. <laughs> I thought it was like, it's gonna unlock the gold skin or something. <laughs> I downloaded all 10,000 of those ugly, lazy lion NFTs and turned them into a mosaic of the person right-clicking. Oh my god, that's beautiful! Oh, that is such a burn. I love this. Luckily, as far as I can tell from Twitter and, you know, the various social media, it seems like the trend of NFTs are dying. Thank God. Let's see when the next money laundering trend comes in. Maybe we'll be in time for, you know, next year's taxation. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> That's an interesting prediction. <laughs> Tell me in the comments what you think the next year's money laundering scheme is gonna be. Dear God. Uh, someone is forcing the Chicago police to listen to the guilty verdict on the radios. That is... <laughs> that is such a troll. Gasp. Creep who sent PP pick to transgender woman gets sent one right back. That is empowerment if I've ever heard it. Oh my god. And they never did it again. Happy ending. Can I KMS? No. This is surprisingly comforting. <laughs> you go, Satan. Oh, inspiring people since thousands of years ago. Because the Earth is like, how old is the Earth according? A couple of decades, maybe. My freaking sister got me $50 in singles and wrapped each individual dollar. It's like to the point where it's almost not worth unwrapping them. Maybe you can just send it to gift to the next person. And it's just this weird thing that goes in a circle in your family or friend group. Because no one wants to unpack it. So you just keep sending it as a ha funny gift. Beautiful. It's not even that expensive. Likes men. So there's more women for the rest of us. Dances with girls at the clubs. To keep creepy guys away. What gay men give to the world. Yup. On the second one, there is this one gay club I go to that actually has a problem of straight guys going there to dance with girls. I guess these guys don't understand that girls can also be gay, because they assume that any girls at the club are there with their gay guy friends. Oh god. So one night I was out on the dance floor, and I see this guy. He's like over six foot at least, all beefed up, muscle shirt, looks kinda like a douchebag. And he is just circling the dance floor in one continuous loop, looking at the crowd like a predatory animal. And it's creeping me that the frick out. It's creeping me out enough that I immediately realize what's going on nearby. Some girl has attracted one of the a-holes, who has proceeded to begin grinding on her. She's pushing him away, telling him to get lost. He's pulling that whole, come on girl, don't be a bitch, spiel, and generally just not getting the message. Bam! Suddenly, the prowling guy swoops in, and like some sort of gay avenger, he shoves himself between the girl and the a-hole, grabs the a-hole by the hips and starts dirty dancing like one gosh darn frick machine. Ah, oh, yes. A-hole completely flips his shite, like how yeah, another man tried to dance with him at a gay bar? Starts spitting curses and tears butt off the dance floor out onto the sidewalk. The gay avenger turns back to the girl, inclines his head in a Are you okay? Sort of gesture. She nods, and he returns to his previous position of circling the dance floor, looking for his next target. Told the story to some guys upstairs. Apparently gay avenger is a regular there. Gay avenger. <laughs> Can, can this be the next Marvel movie? <laughs> 
That is beautiful. I wonder if it's the same person who was planning to, you know, touch that really creepy uncle inappropriately in the previous post. <laughs> the world is a small place. Pee pee. This man is painting pee pees on potholes, so the council has to take action. This is my kind of activism. You have to cover it now. Lazy bumps. Man legally changes name to Big Pee Pee so that these nebros will keep my name out of their mouth. <laughs> he taking a selfie with a security camera. <laughs> the energy surrounding this man is mythically powerful. Truly is one we must fear. We are proud to launch one of the most challenging products to date, the Uncensored Library. We've built a virtual library in Minecraft which bypasses press censorship in oppressive regimes. Our library is filled with censored articles, journals and information on press freedom. Fortunately, Minecraft is still accessible in these countries, so our virtual library creates a backdoor which allows gamers worldwide to reach this material. Find more at here and build by Blockworks here. I watched a tour of this on YouTube. It's absolutely beautiful. If you haven't, I would highly recommend checking it out. It's absolutely astounding. I hope it's still around, because I remember this was founded a couple of years ago, but damn, it's beautiful. If you could see a list of every person's name and face, including strangers that thought about you in a naughty way at least once, would you want to see it and why? Yeah, my self-esteem is pretty low, so it might be nice to see someone actually perceive me that way. Unless that list is totally blank. I'll totally jack off to you, bro. Edit. Ha, I did it, bro. Yelled Cliff 347 just as I finished. <laughs> How to boost the self-esteem of fellow Redditors. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. So the company we pay our rent to sent out a very condescending mass email to all tenants about paying rent and forgot to BCC all emails. And now all the tenants have started a rent strike. <laughs> Welp. <laughs> Well, you just basically gave them the tool to unionize together. That is, oh, that is amazing. Jesus Christ. Nothing brings people together quite like a common enemy. Which is actually true in both wholesome ways and not so wholesome ways throughout the history. West May Fire Department. Caution! Cops like to sit behind this sign. And there it is. <laughs> Whoa, firemen! Well, laddies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you enjoyed this beautiful video because it is just as beautiful as you are, you beautiful bean, and you smell amazing, and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. They are just filthy liars. And I will see you in the next video in the very near future. Take care of yourself, and have a very good rest of your day.